Well, hey friends, it's Mandy with Sweet and Home, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about some homeschooling stuff. So we did morning time last year in our homeschool. Um, if you have, if you're a homeschooler, you have likely heard about morning time before. Um, it was not created by Pam Barnhill, but she has sort of taken morning time and run with it and created kind of a whole system and system around morning time. And basically what it is, is you start off your morning um, reading and like lighting a candle and um, doing picture study and memorization and art study and composer study and just a lot of really beautiful, wonderful things to start your homeschool day. Um, it could be a long time, it can be a short time. I'll leave, if I can find some links about morning time, I'll leave them in the description box below. Pam Barnhill is like a huge inspiration to me for so many things when it comes to homeschool. She actually has a podcast called Your Morning Basket. On that podcast, she interviews homeschooling moms and they talk about what's in their morning basket, they talk about their morning time, um, and there's it's just such a great resource for inspiration and ideas. Um, so I'll try and link that down below as well and any kind of pertinent links that I can find that I think would kind of help explain what morning time is um, just a little bit better. So we did incorporate some morning time. If you're new to my channel, my kiddos are little. Um, when we started homeschooling, my son was three and my daughter was six. Uh, she started kindergarten at three and a half years old here in Canada, or at least in Ontario, she was able to start at that young of an age. Um, and it was full day, all week kindergarten. So she was starting her second grade year last year. And, um, but she was six years old. So there was a lot of things that I felt like I really wanted her to learn on a whole deeper level um, than maybe what she had in first grade in her two years of kindergarten. And then I'm going to walk you through our morning binder with all kinds of stuff that we worked through um, as part of our morning time. I do have a video plan to show you everything in our morning time basket, so if you have young little ones and you're looking for some ideas, I'll tell you what we did with ours. Anyways, it was a time that we really, really loved. Um, I'm gonna jump into the video now because the there's a lot of information in the binders. And let's get on to the video. Okay, so here are my kiddos' binders. Um, obviously, this one is for my daughter, and this is for my son. Um, I got this free clip art and this um, the downloads for these covers on Teachers Pay Teachers. If I'm able to find the link again, I will leave it in the description box. I did go ahead and change the font um, and put their names in that font. Um, and in these binders, they each have a folder. I'm not gonna open up them completely because there is um, some sensitive information in these. So I made this page in um, PowerPoint and I added the name of our homeschool at the top and our kind of motto, I guess you'd say. And then at the bottom, I also have um, my daughter's name and the grade that she's in in the years. Now, my initial plan had been to put a picture of her here, um, but we just actually didn't get that far. <laughs> The pages on this side of the binder are actually things that I wanted her to learn. So how to spell her full name completely. I mean, she basically knew how to do that, but um, her whole name, my husband's name, my son's name, like we're talking like full names, um, proper names, middle names, um, kind of our nicknames, um, our phone numbers, our address, and I wanted her to be able to know all of that information. And she loosely knew some of it, um, but it wasn't anything that was that she learned in kindergarten. Um, she started kindergarten at three and a half. And yeah, so anyways, that was just stuff I really wanted to solidify in her little mind. Um, this little sheet uh, was also from Teacher Pay Teachers. And again, just if she needed help with letter formation or um, anything with the letters, it was always in here. And we were gonna do some stuff with American Sign Language. We didn't get that far. Um, that's something I think we're gonna do this school year. It was just a lot to get uh, 
homeschooling under our belts. So, but this printable came from preschoolmom.com and these actually also came in flashcard form and I printed those off. And then this too also, I think it came from preschoolmom.com as well um, and it was a state by state guide and um, we went through some of the states. We didn't complete all of them, but um, we'll again continue into that as well. So she had a folder in here. Um, some of this has been cleaned out because it's the end of the year, but she did um, some artwork and stuff. So that just sort of is in there as well. And my son, he was three last year, so we didn't do too much. If This is just some drawings and stuff that he did, but he also has a folder inside of his binder as well. Now this year, he will start, we'll actually put a lot more stuff into his binder and a lot more into my daughter's as well. Okay, so this is our morning binder. Um, I made this on PowerPoint and just kind of stuck it in um, the cover here of the binder. So yeah, um, we open it up and then I had just kind of roughly made um, a schedule. We didn't exactly keep to this, <laughs> um, but it was just an idea of what I wanted to make sure that we included in our morning time. And we did a lot of it, um, but it wasn't like we did everything every single day, but um, we did really try and concentrate on the schedule a bit, but you know, life happens. Okay, so then I really wanted her to learn some of the classic sort of um, kids um, Bible songs. Um, our church is a little bit more contemporary and does a lot more contemporary stuff and I found that some of the things that I was hoping that she was picking up on they weren't doing so I wanted to make sure that she knew how to sing like Jesus loves me Jesus loves the little children the B.I.B.L.E. Um, Zacchaeus he's got the whole world in his hands and I also changed the words to say um, he's got Aubrey and Colt in his hands and then praise him, praise him, all you little children, if you're happy and you know it. Um, oh, be careful, little eyes. Um, the Arky Arky song, which she absolutely loved. Um, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Um, a wise man built his house upon the rock, and a foolish man built his house upon the sand. Um, Lord, you are and only a boy named David. So these were a lot of songs that I learned as a kid and I wanted her to be able to know these songs as well and Colt learned a lot of them too. Um, it was I was just quite amazed. So a lot of morning time people do um, hymn singing and I think once my kids are maybe a little bit older we will incorporate some hymns. Um, our church sings some hymns and at camp they sing some hymns. We do like 90% 90, 90 is more contemporary music, but um, they do do some hymns and there's such rich, rich um, lyrics when it comes to the hymns. And I want to make sure that we aren't losing that as we move forward um, as a family and in our Christianity and faith and all of that jazz. So anyways, these were the songs that we chose to sing through and she learned quite a few. Um, next, I wanted her to be able to know the old and New Testament um, books of the Bible. So we sing a song that goes to all of the books of the Bible. When I was a kid, um, we had, when we had Sunday school, it was before church and um, we always had like little Sunday school program and we sang like a lot of these songs, but we also sang a song that did all of the books of the Bible. Um, Old and New Testament and um, I still sing that song to this day um, if I need to figure out where like Lamentations Falls or Habakkuk like I will just you know jump to the part of the song and I'm able <laughs> to find what I'm looking for so anyways she memorized all of the books of the Bible um, because of that song so it's yeah kind of exciting so and then at the bottom of the song, it also says there's 39 in the Old Testament and 27 in the New, and that's 66 books total. And it was really interesting that um, uh, she was in her Sunday school class. They, uh, It's more like it's kids church. It's like all the older kids are all together. Um, and they were doing like skill questions or not skill questions, but they were asking these trivia questions about the Bible. And so they asked some of these things and she knew them so she got points for her team which is exciting so we are in Canada but I am American 
and I want to make sure that my kids know American history really well as well as Canadian history and I also want them to know um, a lot of things about the US including the pledge so um, I've written out the pledge here and then the proper protocol of the pledge as well and I wanted to make sure that she knows um, both national anthems. So this is the national anthem for the United States and we also put who it was by, Francis Scott Key, and when it was written so that um, she would know that information. And then same with the O Canada um, national anthem. And then I um, did a the Lord's Prayer so that we could work on memorization of this. And then also John uh, 316 through 17 and Psalm 23 and she did memorize all of this as well um, some of the other verses she didn't quite memorize but we did memorize Psalm 23 which I felt was really good for a six-year-old because she was six when we started that and um, then we did the armor of God and we have all of the armor written down as well as the verses and then we worked on making sure that she knew all of the provinces and territories in Canada and that there are 10 provinces and three territories. And I would quiz her on that and she would usually get them right. And then lastly, the um, all of the states. So we didn't quite get this far yet. Um, we d I think we're going to concentrate way more um, I'm learning the states this upcoming year, but we'll learn the state song. I think that goes with that. The I can't think of how it goes at the moment, and you probably don't want to hear me sing it. Um, but that's how we'll learn the states because I think it will just be easier. So, anyways, that was just a bit of our morning time binder. We can bind it with um, lots of other things um, as far as like reading the Bible, we had a prayer request journal, we did some nursery rhymes, and we had read picture books, and we, what else, we did prayer and our calendar time. I will go through our whole morning basket. Um, that video is not yet filmed, but when I do have it, I will make sure to link it in the description box, so make sure to check down there if you are, happen to be watching this video first. So, that is our morning time binder. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this sorry for hearing my children <laughs> they're outside playing <laughs> um but you know you know that mom life you gotta do what you can do when you can do it so anyways if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up feel free to subscribe if you are new i'd love to have you hang around here a little bit longer and i'll see you guys in my next video